All right, let's go over to our newly engaged Emily Francis. <laughs> you put a ring on it, girl. All right, thanks, guys. All right, she's the girl that everyone loves to hate on 90210. From the fashion and the money to the boys, Naomi seems to have it all, though her world soon may become cra come crashing down. Take a look. Dad's a disgusting pervert. But my mother takes him for all his worth. <laughs> How dare you? You can't blame Naomi for something that her dad did or, or didn't do. Please, the guy's a scumbag. You knew? You knew about my dad? I, I just heard yesterday. So you knew today at the yard sale. I, I'm sorry. I you can't believe people are talking about my dad, about me, and you didn't say anything. Some friend. And we are so happy to have Anna Lynn McCord here. Good morning. Welcome to the show. For a while, but you know when you're stuck in 90210, it's hard to get to uh, you know 10017. That's true. Right? <laughs> it's hard to get anywhere. <laughs> exactly. So you know your character is, I'm sure, I'm assuming, very fun to play because she's uh, not exactly consistent in how she uh, treats people. No, she's a little crazy. <laughs> uh, Naomi's a lot of fun to play. She definitely has uh, a lot of layers. I like to say layers is a good way. A little layers complex, a little multifaceted. Little... So do you like playing her when she's cold or when she's warm? warm. You know what? It's it's fun for me because uh, every day is a different day. So I get to switch it up, and I'm never bored. There I'm you never go. bored. With so Naomi every Clark. day when you get the script, you know when you're stressing about having to memorize lines. You know it's going to be interesting. Right? I know it's going to be interesting. Yeah, for sure. Now let's talk about a Tori Spelling's return. Is it exciting for you guys, given that they kind of paved the path for all of you? You know what's really cool is having the you know all of the girls that have come back to the show. I say girls because they're like yeah, little girls exactly. when they get together. It's really cute. But they'll just be having, in high school. They always be in high school. But um, but just having their support on us doing a remake of their original show is really awesome. So working with them is really cool. And also, I know you're really big into volunteer work. I mean, you uh, you kind of take it to the middle of nowhere and, you know, get into a little bit of, well, not trouble, but, you know, you... Uh you kind of make things a little spicy. So I do. Make it, so, uh, you know, what was the most fun about filming that part? Uh, the most fun about filming that part was uh, probably pretty much that my character went a total different route in that uh, in that episode, and uh, she was a bit ditzy and airy and like ah, all over the place because she's in love and you know what happened to us girls. <laughs> you know right? what happened. And you know, quite not not too far of a cry from Nip Tuck because I watched you when you were on Nip Tuck. And yes. she was in, your character was underage and she was hooking up with Sean and the whole storyline with Portia she... Rossi. <laughs> you were how old when you were filming those scenes? I was 19. I was I was 19, and uh, Dylan Dylan Walsh was you know so such a professional and such a darling. But sometimes he was like, "This is just wrong. <laughs> this is just wrong." <laughs> but I guess if you start with it being that uh, that sultry, I guess this stuff is a little bit easier, right? Yeah, Even Naomi more high school. Than, Naomi uh, Naomi's the PG version version of Eden, I like to say. And you like it better that way. It's I good. Assume, it's right? very good. And also tell us, you're doing some work with teens um, to uh, help them get ready for their close-up in prom season. Tell us uh, a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm very excited, actually. Um, I, I love to reach out to my fans in any way as possible, and I actually recently had a fan who was talking to me, talking to me about my skin and how beautiful it is and all this stuff, and I was like, thank you, but you have no idea, you know, what I go through every day with makeup and stuff and how I'm trying to, you know, fight acne and stuff like that. So, um, I I've been using Benzaclen, which is a product that is prescribed from your dermatologist, and it's it's just basically it targets teens and young adults, and, and, and you know really helps during puberty and throughout the stages of acne. And uh, I used everything in the book, and finally found something that actually worked for me and worked quick. It you know works within like two weeks. And uh, Benzaclen approached me about you know speaking out. I'm sure a lot of girls, you know, young women appreciate it because you know to be going through that when you're when you're young and yeah. worried about how you look is not an easy time. And it's it's for me too. Like I'm always in front of the camera. It's something of you know it's feeling good about myself. You know like if right. I've I've got that big one. I'm like, I'm like sitting yeah, here like this like, the whole time. Right, or, 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 I'm like, some other charities you're involved with. Tell us quickly about those. Um, yes, I work with the Blind Project, which is based here in New York, actually, and that's an organization that deals with raising awareness about sex trafficking. And uh, it's a very serious issue. In 2007, the uh, the sex trade made more than Google, Starbucks, and Nike combined. That's scary. It's, thinking about those numbers and knowing how few people actually are aware of it, and that it goes on in the U.S. Uh, is something that's a, a big passion for me. Atlanta is the number one city for it, and, and that's where I'm. From. And I recently had an opportunity to go to uh, to go to New Orleans, and I worked with the St. Bernard Project, and I basically was very ignorant to the fact that there's still a lot of damage, uh, still a lot of families who have not been able to move back. Right. And uh, and so that organization is a, a it's a new thing for you're me. You're good. But you're a good woman. It's awesome. And we're gonna send people to our website so they can cool. hear more. So anyway, thanks for coming. in. I know I know being in LA, you don't have Dunkin' oh Dunkin' oh no. coffee. I, a little bird.
already told me you like them, so this is for you. Can I hug you? Yes, and you can catch that at 209 tonight at 9 right here on uh, PIX. For more ac uh, info on Acne, Heroes, and her other charity groups, go to WPIX.com slash morning news, and we'll be back after this break. Thanks. <laughs> and from 90210, Anna Lynn McCann.